Chelsea 2, Tottenham 0. An absolutely embarrassing defensive performance from Spurs tonight. First things first, make sure you do smash a like if you're just joining. Let's try and hit 100 likes in the video. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're pushing 4K subs, which is absolutely obscene on this channel. Um, and the support has been overwhelming. Big up to everyone who tuned in for my um, for my live watch along. I've just come off the back of that. But I am so, so oh, just mad about that performance. I mean, let's start off straight away um, with, with the defence, you know. Eric Dyer comes out, and I said, if Eric Dyer doesn't start at the start, it's it's a massive, massive game for whoever, whoever comes in, whether it's Joe Roden or Jaffet Tanganga. Jaffet Tanganga finally gets to start. You know, he's been pushing and he's been impressing in training under Conte. He finally gets that start, and he was absolutely diabolical. He was horrendous tonight. You know, the first goal, I've always said with this team, we are not good enough defensively, we do not have good enough personnel to play out from the back. But we insist on doing it. Whether it's Nuno, whether it's Jose, whether it's Mason, whether it's Conte, we decide to play out from the back. And it costs us every time we do. And Jaffa Tanganga, mate, I'm sorry, but you've got to go. Time is up. You have to go. You're not good enough for this football club. I've stepped my neck out on the line time and time and time again to defend you. But you're just not good enough. You know, you're just simply not good enough anymore. I thought you might be the next Legley King. How wrong was I? I feel embarrassed to actually say that. It was just, it was shocking tonight. Absolutely shocking. You know, the first goal comes from him trying to play it out from the back. And once again, a mistake. Marcus Alonso, who I've spoken about in my preview with Dami, saying he's always going to be a threat to us. He pounces on it, plays a ball in. Kai Havertz scores, and it comes off Davinson Sanchez, and Chelsea go 1-0 up. And after that, we looked depleted. We looked shell-shocked, heartless, no passion, no desire to get back into this game. And it was a shocking, shocking performance for the rest of the half. We didn't have a shot until about the 40th minute from a Harry Kane free kick, which was a good save from Kepa Ariza Balaga. But we just look... It was, that was not Conte performance. Lee said it on my watch-along so many times. This is not a Conte performance. You know, Matt Doherty starting at left wing back. Where was Regulon? Why was Regulon not involved? Has he picked up an injury? I'm not too sure, but Doherty's not good enough. He got forward so many times in the first half and just gave the ball away. It's just, this is just not good enough performance. And then Chelsea were absolutely coasting. They didn't even have to get out of second gear. In that first half, Lukaku has a, a ball comes in from Jorginho, I think it was, or Ziyech. Puts the ball in. Lukaku should have scored the header. And it's like a mismatch. Every time Lukaku was going up, he was going up against San Sanchez, which is a mismatch. Lukaku's going to dominate. He was going up against Ben Davis. Lukaku's going to dominate in the air. And obviously, Jaffet Tanganga. And then, you know, the first half was, was abysmal. I thought it couldn't get any worse. We move on to the second half and we come out in the first five or ten minutes with a bit of energy, a bit of desire, a bit of passion. Players start playing for the badge for about ten minutes. And that was it. It comes to the 55th to the 60th minute. We dropped off and Chelsea just took control. And then the second goal, it, oh my God, every single time, defensive errors, individual errors. How many times did I say this through Jose's reign at Tottenham? Every single time it's individual errors. Dang Tanganga headers it. It hits Ben Davies and goes in. You couldn't make this up. This curse of the Stamford Bridge curse lives. Three wins in 27 years. One win in the Premier League in about 20-odd years. And Chelsea go 2-0 up and coast him. No, 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 no issues to report from them. You know, they, they dominated the game. Looking at the stats right now, let's go and have a quick look at the stats um, for the game. Um, sorry, the first goal actually was in the first half. Um, uh, ben Davies' individual error. And then we, we, we sorry, we go back in from half time and you think do you know what we're going to give something we do for 10 minutes and then nothing happens looking at these stats 64 percent possession for chelsea 36 percent possession for tottenham two shots on target for tottenham six on target for chelsea passing accuracy 90 percent for chelsea 78 percent for tottenham and we only have one corner you know but it's just it's such a bad performance but 
you know, I still have some sort of hope because if we can come back down from a 3 0 de deficit at Ajax, I believe we might be able to scrape something back. But boy, if Dai is missing this in that in that return fixture, then then boy, we're, we're going to struggle. If Chelsea get one goal, it's curtains and it's game set match. Chelsea were a better team; they deserved it more. But it was just such. A, it's just Javits and Ganga single handedly just cost us that performance. Because apart from that, Hugo Lloris was tested, but not like he didn't make any wonder saves. They were all at Hugo Lloris. He's not pulling out, you know, game winning saves like he sometimes does. It was just at Hugo Lloris. It was comfortable, apart from the goals, which Hugo couldn't really do anything about. Let's not get it twisted. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm so fucking pissed. It's a joke at that performance. People come out and saying, yeah, you've been too reactional, but it's the same players. Javit Tanganga was one of the duds that played when we lost to Vitesse. Javit Tanganga was one of the duds that played when we lost to Mura. It's no coincidence. Whenever these clowns play, that we underperform and we don't, you know, we don't come out to the result we want to. And we go in now with a 2-0 deficit. We've got Morecambe at home. And then we've got the second leg at Stamford Bridge. And then after that, we go back, to, we go to North London and then to Stamford Bridge. So like, or Stanford Bridge, then North London. It's like we've got Chelsea two more times, excuse me, this month. And we can't play like we did tonight. You know, 2 0 is probably a lucky escape. But I'm just, I'm just so distraught. I really am. Um, it is what it is, people. Uh, you know, you individual errors. Let's also come on. Harry Winks come on. Why is Antonio Conte on, on the foot of it? Why is he taking off Human Son for Brian Hill? Right, and Giovanni Lisselso, one player that I have criticised more than any player in this camp, comes on, does absolutely nothing. You know, it's it's the same old story. It's always the hope that kills you with this team. But we've got 26 days left of this month and we have got to go out and invest. We have got to go out and buy someone. We, we can't continue this month with these group of players. They're simply not good enough. Conte needs a centre-back. You know, Javid Tanganga is not good enough. Joe Rodon is not good enough. Davinson Sanchez has improved um, in recent times, but it's it's just a poor performance once again. You know, it is what it is, people. We move on. You know, we brush ourselves down. We go again. But I'm just so pissed off at that performance. Um, before we finish, make sure you do smash a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tottenham's Transfer Daily will be back tomorrow with the latest news and gossip. That will be back tomorrow afternoon. And then we're back on Lee's channel tomorrow at 7 p.m. But, you know, Chelsea deserved the win. They were the better team. They dominated. Lukaku could have had two or three tonight. But just a poor individual errors cost us once again in Jaffa Tanganga. Uh, Harry Kane, we'll speak on Harry Kane before we wrap up. Didn't really have any service. All the media and all the critics will come out and, and say Harry Kane's got missing once again. But he has no service. We don't have a playmaker in this team. Human Son wasn't the best tonight. Hoiberg was awful. I thought it was one of the worst players we had on the pitch. Every time he got the ball, he gave it away. Oliver Skip was okay. Nothing great. Emerson and Doherty weren't the best. But, you know, it is what it is, people. Um, like I said, we brush ourselves down and we go again. Um, but I'm just so distraught with this performance. I really am. You know, I wanted to finally go to the bridge and get a result. Antonio Conte on his Chelsea return returns to Stanford Bridge. But... You know, what will be, will be. Um, you know, I'm just, it is what it is. But yeah, we're going to wrap up now. Make sure you do smash a like on the way up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Um, but yeah, people, it is what it is. We move on. Thank you all.